Good day. I will demonstrate the procedures I went through in getting this PC a fix. It's an HP. I will show you all what I did. I troubleshoot it already and got it going. But I'll show you all what I did, the procedures I did or I went through to get it up and about. With all that said, before we, we begin, if you find the video is educational, please like, subscribe, and click on the bell icon to be notified of further videos. Thank you. This is the HP Pavilion. When opening a desktop, either a tower or a desktop you put the system down the front away from you and the back of the system towards you on all computers whether it's a tower or a desktop on the right hand side the panel comes out on all of them the panel comes out on the right hand side so once you have the front of the cpu away from you the back facing you the on the right hand side the panel comes out let me put this one to lie down okay it's down on all of them they would either have two screws one at the top one at the bottom sometimes they have four but usually you might get two screws or two thumb screws this is the thumb screw once you slacken it it has a little handle here some of them have it here some of them might have it at the top you pull and you take out this is what inside the computer looks like and these are all the the molex connectors it has one sata now after I cleaned it, I took everything out and I cleaned it thoroughly and I placed everything back. When I put on the power, it didn't boot up. So what I did was remove the front cover, take out this and the memory is beneath her. I'll pause the video. I'll put it to stand up and show you all what are the procedures. Okay, off camera I took out the screws holding this down. It has four screws one here one here one here and the other one is right here you take out these screws to take out the, the front plate or the face plate I should say to take out that face plate it has a clip 
awesome clips. I don't know if you can see it. Let me let me lift it. So yeah. Here is a clip. It has another one here and one here. It has three clips. I have the camera with one hand and holding the PC. You will see the clips. You take your finger and you lift and push. You lift and push, lift and push, and it opens. Once it opens, you then, since I have one hand, that's the front plate. Once you get that out, you would pull this out. Now, all the units, the drives, comes out at the front. So which means you would have to remove the face split to get out any one of these drives, you would have to remove the face plate. Now to get to the memory, you have to remove this screw here working with one hand it's kind of uh, on this screw here and then you slide this out now, if you didn't take out these screws, that wouldn't have passed through here. Then the hard drive is connected to it. You take out the SATA connection. Once that's out, then you slide out let me pause for a while Yeah, so you just slide this split out a bit and then uh, this is uh, the memory here. It's DDR2. You get these cables uh, out of uh, your way and to remove any stick of the memory you pull that white lever back let me take the other side <clears throat> you pull the white lever back and you turn this one back and uh, you take your memory stick out now i forget to mention at the beginning of the video once you take out 
the cover you have to touch before you go into the system you have to touch the metal chassis to discharge any static electricity you have in your body if failing to do so there is a possibility i wouldn't say it would happen it's a 50 50 chance because while taking out you already touching metal but there's a 50 50 chance once you touch any one of these components you would burn it because your body has electricity which we call static electric you will burn the memory you could also damage the border and the components now i i took out all the memory and i powered on the system it beeped once i heard that beep i know the motherboard is okay i put the memory in one by one it had three sticks I put them in one by one. <clears throat> the first one, it worked. I took it out and I placed another stick. It worked. I took it out and I placed the third stick. The computer didn't come on. So then I changed the four sticks and put one gig of memory each. So right now it has four gigs of DDR2 in it. Once I completed that, I powered it on and everything came back on. So what I did next was putting everything back in place. Once you get your connection back, you put your SATA cable in.
if you notice the cable could only go one way let me see if I could get that to focus there is a, a slot here and there is one on the hard drive so you all you have to do is match them up and push in where is the SATA connector if when pushing you notice it won't go in do not force it take it out look at it make sure everything is lining up before you push it in if you push it in wrong it can break the connector and you would be in problems once you get it in you put your cables back make sure none of the cables a note by the fan Keep it away from the fan, any rotating objects. And this is it. Make sure everything is okay. Now, this is an old PC. The case is good. If you want to upgrade, you can always change the motherboard and the power supply because that power supply won't, won't work with a modern, not to say it won't work, it will work, but you won't have the power you would be looking for. I think the power supply is a uh, max power uh where is it where is it three hundred watts so this is it when you through you put your face split back on make sure everything is clear from the fans i'll leave the pc down still and you hook your mouse
you put your keyboard here. Now, you cannot make a mistake with anything because everything has where they're going. So, no need to be afraid. With anything. And your monitor. goes right here before you plug in your power this is a voltage selector make sure it's set on the right voltage if it's 110 or 240 right now I have it on 240 it's set for 240 Let me see. That is in. Is on the green light here is on that means the power supply is good the face plate isn't on yet so I would press the button Uh, this is it. I don't know what I'm doing with it yet, but I will put Windows 8 on it. I might use it as a server or as something else. But for now, Windows 7 is no longer supported. Windows 7 will work, but the there are no updates for it so this is it this is what I did all you have to do if your PC goes down disconnect all the hardware and boot up if it still gives a problem take out your memory sticks you might have one two or three 
and put it in and try it one by one, you ought to find the problem. Now, in the next video, I'll show you how to test a power supply. If you find this video was helpful, please like, click on the bell icon to be notified of further videos and subscribe. Thank you.